Twitter, Viber, Snapchat. What do they have in common? They all have more than 500 million users. And they've all been built with code libraries we developed previously. In fact, more than 25% of the world's top 500 apps run with our code inside. I am Vivian, CEO of ObjectBox, the fastest mobile database in the world. When my co-founder and myself were running our previous business of app development, we encountered a huge problem, the mobile database, SQLite. It is slow, unreliable in its performance, and a pain to work with. Object Box fixes this. Object Box is 10 times faster than the industry leader. It's reliable across use cases. And app developers love that it's only one-tenth of the code to implement. This means app developers can go to market earlier with blazingly fast apps that also work offline. We launched version 1.0 early in September, and already today, only two months later, there are more than 2,000 unique apps in active development with Object Box. What's next? On top of the database, we are building a data synchronization solution. It's an out-of-the-box solution that takes care of synchronizing the data for the developer via our own servers, the cloud, and also directly between devices, including IoT. Effectively, we bring edge computing to connect the devices. And because we want object box to be on every single connected device, the database is free for maximum adoption. The data synchronization solution, however, is a software as a service subscription model. This is a $20 billion market in mobile alone. Now, if you look a little into the future, there's a rapidly growing trillion dollar market in IoT waiting for us. Marcus and I, we've been working in the mobile app industry forever, even before there were apps, literally. I've been mainly leading and scaling teams. And although I have a PhD in the background, I'm a great manager. And Marcus, he's the coder, as you can tell by his beard. With the code libraries he developed, GitHub shows he's among the top 1% of Java developers worldwide. We are raising a large seed round. If you would like to be part of our journey, please come and talk to me afterwards. I am Vivian, CEO of Object Box, the fastest mobile database in the world. <laughs> Thank, thank you so much, Vivian. Thank you. Now, the judges, you have seven minutes to grill. Thank you. Thank you. Very thank impressive. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, could you address that in numbers a little bit in terms of where you are now in revenue, how the next uh, okay. 12 uh, to 18 months are looking, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, 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 how much you're raising and, uh, and what you're essentially using that for? OK. So um, we are pre-revenue. The database is free to use. We launched the database so far. We are experiencing quite good growth and traction there, but we're still building the synchronization solution. Um, so we're raising a million in order to grow the team. We are going to hire more developers and also dev relations. And on our roadmap, basically, so we first launched the um, version 1.0 for Android. So our database, it's a C++ database. And for each um, platform, you need a binding on top. So for Android, that would be Java, and that's what we launched. So what's on our roadmap? The iOS binding and the JavaScript binding for people that work with the framework, and then also the synchronization solution. So we'll be launching that in spring next year. 
and then we are going to start monetizing first with pilot customers for the first six months, and then we want to take that to scale. So our goal is to reach with that kind of funding a 100k MRR. <laughs> Thank you. Great, super impressive pre presentation. Thank you for that. Thank you, you mentioned um, some legacy competitors, but are there really no other companies doing this that are starters? No, no, no. <laughs> So basically, yes, there's SQLite, and then there's another competitor that's early in the market. It's called Realm. But they really are much more like SQLite than we are, because they have a relational database as a SQLite, whereas we have a uh, NoSQL-based database, so it's a key object store, basically. And that's why we are also five times faster than they are. And because it's fundamental in the architecture, it's defendable. OK, <coughs> interesting. And just very quick follow-up question. What, will you, what, what do you aim to have as your triggers to monetization? Pardon? So, so you're, you're pushing uh, adoption right now. Yes. And it's a freemium model. Mm -hmm. What do you think will be the key triggers to, monetize, to, to, uh, okay. to become a paying user? OK, so basically, um, the data synchronization is really it's much more than a feature. It's an, solution by its own. So that solves really one of the biggest pains in app development. And we know it because we've been building apps for a long time. So um, most apps, nearly every app, needs some kind of data synchronization. And it's non-trivial. People tend to have difficulties getting it right. And also, it takes quite some time. It's associated with risks. So I think CTOs would gladly have us do it for them. Go to market earlier, save costs, save cloud costs and also de-risk their product. Thank you. What, what type of an, um, new things need the, the developers need to, need to learn when deploying your database? Ah, okay. And uh, uh, then the question that what are the uh, most typical apps or best apps for you to, to be partnered with? OK, so um, first of all, to, for picking up object box, for a typical app entwickler, it's very simple, because it's just another Java API. So there's really no learning curve. And with regards to your second question, we really aim to be ubiquitous with this technology. So we truly believe this database will be the next database in every app. Obviously, there are apps that may have more advantage from, um, from the speed. So that's apps that have lots of users or lots of data, lots of requests. An example could be games but also social apps with a lot of users. And we see, actually, our whole financial model, it's built around new apps. And um, that market alone is big enough. But what we see happening is now existing apps switching to uh, infrastructure to object box. So there's a need for that already. It's very interesting uh, business and, and idea. But the thing that is striking to me is the mobile app industry has been huge for a long time. And, and so why, why is it just now that there's this innovation? Like what, what was happening before? Were there failed uh, you know, previous database companies that tried to do this? I'm just curious. And, and then also, uh, where will you guys be based? Are you here? Are you, you know, going to Silicon Valley? What are your thoughts on that? Mm -hmm. OK. So why is it happening now? Uh, good question. <laughs> so basically, um, I think there are a couple of things. One thing is that. Requirements have risen a lot, so they're continually growing. So, and then there has come up a need for a offline capability. So in the last two to three years, every app needs to be offline first. So there's more need for local data persistence. And when you combine that with rising requirements like tons of data, AI, analytics, you have more need for a performant database. So that's one reason. And the other thing that just like happened is when you look at the server, NoSQL is the fastest databases you can get. And no one has transferred that to mobile. So it just, I think, was a natural progression that was going to happen at some point. We just happened to be the first ones. We are based in Munich. That's where we're building a team. And um, we are asked a lot if we, we are thinking about going to the US. And probably that's something for us for the future. Great. Thank you. All right. Da, 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 da. There's, there's still one minute for questions if you have one. So one more question, perhaps? 
Vivian, it's a great tagline, the fastest mobile database. How do you justify that? And uh, is it your uniqueness and that you're the fastest of one? Or how, how do you keep that place and how do you keep that tagline? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so um, yes, basically uh, fastest and also like um, faster to implement is our key value proposition. Um, obviously, we have benchmarks and all our benchmarks are open source. So everyone is free to check them out themselves. Um, we've been doing benchmarks with an object relational mapper we had on top of SQLite for the last six years. So we had a lot of community feedback on those already, a lot of experience. So I think they are pretty good already. But everyone is happy to check them out themselves. And actually, we have an app with more than 20 million installs that just switching their infrastructure to object box. And they did their own benchmarks before deciding to go with object box. And Basically, um, yeah, we had a significant speed advantage also in their benchmarks. And time is... Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You much. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, judges. Thank you. And thank you, Vivian, from Object Box. Thank you so yeah. much.